Hi, today's video is about two meters. The one on the right hand I have quite a long time, 10 to 15 years, is the Benning MMP3. It was quite expensive, 40 bucks almost. And on the left hand we have the Enning AN302. I just bought a few days ago at Banggood, a few weeks ago, then it takes two weeks to arrive here for nine dollar so less than nine euro um, from the specs this one is better it has six thousand counts this is a two thousand count one and it has a built-in flashlight okay i don't know why you need a flashlight on a meter um it runs from one year 2032 this needs the you know it's the competitioner to the cr 2032 it's the lr 44 I think both are quite often used. From the build quality from the outside, um, when you feel the probe leads or the probes itself, the bending feels much, much better. It's four, four times the price, but you get the better quality. Both print on the outside, 600 volt CAT2, 300 volt CAT3. Not sure about this. Um, I look inside already. It's a okay -like thing. Then from the, um, yeah, how to use it, um, I will switch on both on. Um, here you have the manual range wheel, like in a classic multimeter. Um, volt AC, volt DC, millivolt AC only, uh, ohms, diode test and beeper, uh, capacity and um, frequency. So. And here you can hold, select, range, whatever. So if you switch it on, it comes on. We go to this and here you switch it on. Press on the power button. Then you can choose the function. Function one is DC volt, AC volt and the uh, NC restart. I think you bring it to a, um, a line voltage cable and it starts to beep. Don't know why they um now have it in almost every multimeter then you have the select button um it switch on true rms then it switch between the functions so at the moment we are at the function two ef it's the beeping thing oh start to beep already somewhere is Electric field. Well, maybe it's the phone. Uh, that's why I don't think that this function is useful. Then you press the function button. Now it is on function one, uh, function two now. Um, millivolt, ohm, diode, beeper, um, capacity, and hertz. Uh, hertz. So almost the same like the banning. Um, what else at this part? Okay, the it has not big light, it has just a little light on the back. So if you are working in a dark environment, you can, no, not really, okay. But maybe after you open, this can be used to make it backlight. Oh, doesn't matter. Let's open them. We start with the cheap one, screwdriver. Magnet. One magnet would be enough. Maybe I should ask my daughter to come down to help. No, she's still sleeping. Schlafmütze. Oh, battery fall down. On the back we have the little acrylic for the LED on the back. We have the Piezo Peeper, we have the contact for the battery, we have the battery. By the way, the battery was almost five euros, so half of the price than the meter, a little bit weird. Um, we have the PCB, nothing on the back. Ooh, almost break it. We have the rubber, it's thing of switches. And one just go on the 
function switch. Put it there. So, what do we have on the board? I should come closer. Like this. You can see. We have the chip on board. We have a crystal. Okay. We have a PTC for protection and two 5 mega ohm resistors in series for the high voltage. Um, soldering quality is is okay, not bad. We have gold plated um, the context. On the input leads, we have the solar res or the flux residue. Doesn't look so nice, maybe we have to clean it up. And, oh, yes, the leads, the quality here is quite bad. So maybe I undo this and just resolder. Focus, hello, you can do it. Ah, there. Um, that is really not good quality here. So that's all about this board. Let's go there. Now time to take apart the banning. Um, the banning has only one screw in the back. Ooh. It's a metal threaded or it's a threaded one, not self tapping. It doesn't fall apart from itself. It's still hold together. It has two LR44s as battery. Um, yeah, the board looks still older, I think. <laughs> but the plastic feels much better already. So here we can see the bending one. Uh, there's the range, there's the range switch going there. There are the battery contacts, spark gaps. I think it's spark, it's really spark gaps. We have one, two, three, four, five resistors in series for input protection voltage stuff. <laughs> they mark the spring. This is a spring. They mark it as spring for the shielding. Two more springs here, not marked as springs, for the piezo beeper. We have a crystal here. And in chipsets, and one three one nine PEF FS nine seven two one underscore LP three R two AKN blah three. We have more diodes up here. No idea why. Two trimmer ports. So still need to be. I don't know how to say. Manually trimmed, and and PTC here. So. Input protection is much better than from the um, unang thing. It has the metal thread here for the case, and the looks like there is a plastic protection ring for the back side. And this maybe stop it to take it apart. Yeah. Now we are in. Nothing, not much on this side. Uh, here, also hot glue to protect the and you can see this is a very good quality wire. It just has a double insulation. The wipers also gold contacts and yeah, you can see it has already like So both meters are back together. Um, I set them up both in the beeping mode. Oh, not really. Sorry. One more. B 
because um, I only want to test voltage and beepers, so the rest is not so interesting for me. Um, from the size, yeah, both have the same size. This display is a little bit bigger than this. So the beeper. Um, well, very responsible, that's okay. Not so loud, I think. The banning. Yeah, it has the uh, shroud here for isolation, but you see, also very responsible and very loud beep. This is what I like. So next one, check the voltage. How Dave Jones always say, check the voltages when you search something, something doesn't work. Um, for this, I bring in the Unity 61E for comparison. <laughs> to compare the things um, bring them up a little bit wait I have something here oh the mooncake box from my wife so set up the meters um, maybe I should pause here while I'm working around with the cables so just wait I'm back in a second the setup is finished time to compare um, yeah you see that just when I move they move also a little bit there's a lot of wires involved now so the unity 61e shows 0 0.9011 the Anning AN302 shows 0 0.902 and the banning shows 0 0.899, but it's the most stable one. Um, at the moment, this is closer to this. This is out of point zero 0.02 and this is point zero zero 0.001. So this is a little bit closer. Let's switch to, um, let's say 1.5. Okay. The, Power supply is the most inaccurate. Now we have 1.506. Uh, ignore this, this has more. Um, we have 1.508 and 1.503. This time this is three less. Also the last digit is three less. This is two more, three more. So close together. Um, of course, I don't know which one is the best or from the specs the unity should be the best um, but from the accuracy even it's a very cheap one and the quality the build quality is not good this doesn't look so bad compared with the banning now let's see what happened if you go to two point something let's go to two point five uh, a little, little bit down so we see here we have 2.407 2.414 6 so in this case the banding is closer to the unity and this is quite out a bit so to be honest a lot out um yeah let's see what happened if we go to the next voltage I think I will choose five now. Five is not bad. So five volt. Five point oh oh, five point oh oh nine, five point oh two one. So the banning goes closer and closer to the Unity sixty one E or keep closer to it. And the Anang goes yeah out a little bit more now. Um here you still can see the one advantage it has more um, digit. This is a six thousand count multimeter, so it goes to five point zero two one. This has switched now one and less uh, lose one digit. So this should happen with the anning at about six volt, um, then about eight volt. I saw. I think it was the eight thousand count meter. Yeah, now it happened here. 
the Unity still has the more digits because this is a 22,000 count meter. We have 8.314, 8.33. So I think I say two out of the last digit. And the banning um, 8.31. So the same than the Unity. 0.2 would be also, yeah, but the same. So get to the next one. Just give more, say. I think 50 is the max I can do here. The Unity shows 50.1. The earnings shows 50.25, still out. And the banning MMP3 is bang on the same than Unity. So precision wise, the ending AN302, it's okay. Love what price? It's less than 10 euro. Um, for this, it's really a good meter. The banning, um, yeah, I have really to say the banning is my best pocket meter. <laughs> I don't have so many pocket meters. No, it's old, but it's, it's trusty. And so I like it. It's very good quality. It's five times the price than the Anning, but really good. Um, the AN302, it's cheap, but I don't think that I can recommend it. It's it's too cheap. So if you want a cheap meter, get the N802, or if you can get it cheap price discount, the 8N008. For the price, this both are really great. Um, just bring it in and oh, this has no battery. Then you take the 8008. Um, I need some more leads. But then I don't have any. Um, the Unity is not needed yet. Ah. So if you need a pocket size meter with standard functions with not bad quality, you see it's. Uh, we know that the banning was um, very precise compared with the. Unity. So here you see it's much closer. Um, it has more functions. It has a better build quality. It has the backlight. I like backlight. Um, so if you want to buy a cheap and good meter, buy the AN Anning AN8008. Keep your fingers away from the AN302. It's. Uh, yeah. Maybe I took it with me to work if customers come and want to check their power supplies for their computers. Don't like it. It's no. And this one, it's rock stable. Not only the outside, also the the, the digits. Um, yeah, it's very good. So see you next time. That's enough from multimeters. So more meters. <clears throat> yeah, the fall apart. There. Ugh. Do someone want the AN302? Just pick it up here in Neuwied before I. No, doesn't matter. Okay, bye bye.